All right, guys. So I wanted to see what your thoughts are on um, the topic of reincarnation and what you guys think happens when we die. I've become a lot more spiritual uh, these two years, so yeah. this topic really interests me. So, but because I do, so like usually when I'm at home late at night, I usually don't watch like TV shows. I actually do want someone to talk to I just like bored for myself. <laughs> Um, I usually don't watch TV shows. That's I really actually, good. well, what I do is, you want, good, okay. You. What I actually do is like, I literally go down like the YouTube rabbit hole. I would like type in something, I would search it up, watch and something, and then like on the side panel, we see something else, I watch it, go. Uh, you know, I'm gonna try that tonight because I always get stuck watching shows, and while I'm watching yeah, shows, exactly. I'm like, I need to do something productive. Yeah, exactly. Like, but sometimes but my brain is like super fried, oh. then I'll watch TV shows, but usually when I still have a little bit of brain power, I just wanna like absorb it's more of this knowledge. Productive. Yeah, so I do, I actually do have some thoughts myself on the topic of reincarnation and life and death, mm -hmm. but maybe I want to see what you guys think first. Maybe. Okay. So first and foremost, are you religious at all? To be honest, like when I was young, I was a Christian. My family wasn't, but the thing for me is, um, as I got older, I started having a lot of questions about mm -hmm. Christianity and just religion in general, and a lot yeah. of like things that I just don't, I guess, agree with or like mm -hmm. I don't think really makes sense. So, and then I think like. After I got older, I kind of became um, not really an atheist, but I just didn't really like follow any religion for a yeah. while. And then, and then I started to become spiritual. And to be honest, I actually think all religions are the same. Like it mm -hmm. all ties together, and we're all just we're all connected. Yeah, we're all connected. It's all like coming from the same thing. Yeah. If you break it down, ultimately, it's all hands pointing at the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. No, I completely agree. Yes. So that's how like our souls are connected. We're all actually one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, God being one and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's all essentially whether it's Christianity, mm. uh, Judaism, or any of the other religions. Yeah. And then we tend to focus. Like, if you look at all the practices of each of the religions, it's usually the same thing. Whether yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, Adam and Eve, uh, Adam and Hua. Like, there's yeah. different words. Noah's Ark. All those stories. Yeah. Everything is pretty much the same, but right. like different renditions mm -hmm. based off of the time, the timing it is in humanity. Right. Mm -hmm. No, I completely so, agree. Like, I feel like when we say this. This is like not, <laughs> you gotta answer my actual question, yeah. <laughs> but, but it's all related. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. all related. So and I personally think God, when people refer to God, this is like, I, don't, I feel like you probably believe this too, but I feel like God is within all of us. Like we He's are everywhere. All, he, he, she, yeah. or God, it's whatever, just like this, everywhere. like this, that main energy source that we all come from. So mm -hmm. I feel like you can find God within yourself. So when yeah, people like believe that. in religions and things like that, when they pray, I, I think that's great. Like I, yeah. even if like maybe their beliefs are tied to a certain religion, I feel like in the end, they're talking about the same things we're talking about, but they'll probably get into an argument with us because yeah. they fully believe that that religion is true. But mm -hmm. I feel like it's all the same. But back to my question. Reincarnation. Yeah, what do you think happens when we die? And like, yeah, what are your thoughts on reincarnation? Well, in general, I feel like that's the biggest question when it comes to humankind in general. Mm -hmm. And that's why religion and all these belief systems exist in the first place. Right. Because that's the biggest thing. It's like, what's our purpose? What right. are we doing here? Yes. Yeah. So when it comes to reincarnation itself and Buddhist teachings and stuff like that, that's more prominent because they believe like you have to reach that state of oneness and enlightenment and however many versions of life and reincarnations you have to go through to attain that that's when you pass over to the other realms mm -hmm. oh. right so there are other there, that's in the buddhist tradition oh. so there there are v various i guess um what do you call it dimensions per se and right, yeah. that's it's like this existence and this level of consciousness and this physical manifestation is very different because we're and if you think about it to like reality itself, what is reality, right? Mm -hmm. what, it's you perceiving like your life based off of what? Your five senses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. And then that's it, mm -hmm. right? When in reality, it's like there's so much more that we don't know. Yes. We're just basing everything based off of the tools we have to use yes. to measure like with our five senses right. or whether it's with scientific tools. Right. And that's even still, that's based off of the limitations we have with our own capacity to what we can understand with our minds. Right. 
So that being said, it's like trying to explain um, space and astrology to a chimpanzee. He's not mm. going to know right, right, right. what yeah. you're talking about. No, yeah. I, I so that. at the same time, there's so much more to our existence that we don't understand and we don't have the capacity to understand. Mm -hmm. But we're trying to understand based off of the senses that we have. Mm -hmm. That's why when it comes to all these, um, I guess, mystical experiences and things like that, we try to look at it from a scientific point of view mm -hmm. but you can't measure that stuff yeah. Like, uh, yeah. so same same thing like we have all these radio frequencies and Wi-Fi and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff if we didn't have the tools to measure that no one would know it exists right. Right? Mm. right right so when it comes to reincarnation all that kind of stuff it can potentially exist mm -hmm. there's a reason for why there's so many stories and renditions like right. all of these uh, and sorry no, yeah, yeah go ahead. no also like studies that like have proven to be true where people have been able to recall their yeah, past lives for sure and they do the research on them like yeah like crazy like i'm just like <laughs> this weekend we went to a beach together and i was just telling him i tried to do a past life regression <laughs> session by myself at home <laughs> then, so, I, I put on, so last sunday i was at home by myself mm -hmm. and i literally put on like three different youtube like hour-long sessions yeah. of like just like one of them was Brian Weiss. Um, did you, do you guys know of him? He he wrote yeah. the book Many Lives, Many Masters, and okay. I and talking about reincarnation. Yeah, yeah. I think I mentioned yeah, that. You, yeah, yeah, Many Lives. Yeah, like meditations. Or? Kind of like guided meditation, kind uh, guided hypnosis meditation. Ooh. So you, it's supposed to put you under, and then you know you're supposed to like be cool. able. And I I actually considered goat because they offer past life regression sessions at wow. some places like <gasps> holistic <gasps> places. Yes, but to his point, I'll get to that. Yeah. But like. Mm. Um, I don't want to spend that money so that was like yeah. I'm gonna try it myself at home but I told him and he was like and I do agree I feel like because so what I did yeah. was like I listened to three and honestly all three of them I just passed out yeah. <laughs> 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 why am I not surprised <laughs> so yeah when Ariel told me like I, I told her to have practice lucid dreaming and all that kind yeah, of stuff lucid dreaming. you have to reach a certain state of mind where yeah. your diet your meditation practice you have to reach that level mm. of consciousness to be able to tap into whatever right. you're conscious in your dream, yeah, so yeah. if so if you're at a level where for example like not eating healthy not taking yeah. your, care of your body you're, you're not going to be open to those spiritual experiences right yeah i think like i'm on the path to get there but mm. like because my mind is always so busy like i yeah. think what i need to do is like i need to start meditating on a regular basis like mm -hmm. being more just like aligned yeah. and like centered and like calm and like not a lot of thoughts in my How brain often do you both meditate he does a lot. I do it like four hours. Well, so I was waiting downstairs. <laughs> oh yeah, I was I told, actually, he was I sitting there you. and he had his glasses on. He's just sitting there. I was like, I think he's asleep or meditating, so I'm not gonna disturb him. So I'm like, for 20 minutes, he was here, I was there, really? just like, what do I do? Really? I messaged her. I was like, he's here, but I think he's asleep. Yeah. yeah. No, I opened my eyes and then I was like, oh, it's 5:15. Time to meet up. And, and then, then you look, look over. And, and then that's when she's like, are you here to meet Ariel? Like, <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, I was like, this is entertaining. <laughs> yeah. So if okay. I was breathing in a frantic manner, I was No, I could tell by your um, <clears throat> breathing because I could hear it. I was like, okay, he's not asleep. He's actually meditating. Right. Yeah. And you're also like sitting up like yeah, yeah, right yeah. on a... Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait, but you still didn't fully answer. So do you believe in reincarnation? <clears throat> uh, I believe in it, but at the same time, I don't know. There's so many questions when it comes yeah, to that yeah, kind of stuff. True. So you can't say it exists or it doesn't, it doesn't exist. Yeah. Right. It's more of a, we've yet to discover those things based off of the type of right. tools we have to measure those things. Yeah. And if you have experience, because there's so many stories where there's like, for example, kids that where they're five years old and they're like, they tell their parents or whatever. They like the they're, no, they're yeah. saying that I'm starting to forget like what happened. Like yeah, I'm starting yeah, yeah. To forget. And then that's what brings on these things, right? It's like yeah. what happened before. Like, yeah. Right. What, but then they start to then the ego manifests and they yeah, start to level yes, up. Yes, and then yes. their identity manifests in this yeah reality, right, right 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 that's so true. there are many stories where there's children rec recounting like mm -hmm. um, yeah. past lives where they I have families yeah. and yeah. kids no, and they no, tell full like, stories and then the yeah. parents do the research and like oh this stuff actually exists yeah. so that's not a coincidence no no, no no there's right. actually an article i was reading it online the other day yeah. and it showed how the study took about a course of like 10 12 years where they actually contacted the people mm -hmm. from what this child or these children thought their past lives were. Mm -hmm. And like every detail that this child would give, like yeah. how they died or yeah. like what things that they remember. Yeah. The other family from the past that are still alive, they yeah. were like, that is like scaringly like yeah. accurate or like. No, no, no. I, I, so. I was literally, go, go, I mean, YouTubing this mm. like a couple days ago. Yeah. There, if you guys YouTube it, there's so many so stories many. and exactly like that. Yeah. Just like little kids 
just recounting their past lives and mm-hmm. the parents will like at first be like what the fuck and then yeah. afterwards they're like hey let's actually look into it and yeah. it would always match up I, I agree that the more the more spiritual and the more like I learn about consciousness and just like the universe the more I actually feel like I don't know because I yeah. feel like there's so much that our minds at this state at this state right now um, can't even comprehend yeah. but I've had I, I think I have like throughout the past year or so I've gone through a few experiences and like read through a few things that gave me certain ideas so I'll, I'll share a little bit of it one of the first things was that book so Brian Weiss or Weiss I think it's Weiss <laughs> Brian Weiss wrote a book called many lives many masters and I read this book like a couple months ago and it was a great book it's a it's a pretty easy read he was a psychologist I think and um for like many years, he would just treat patients like a therapy session and everything. And then he, he didn't believe in anything spiritual. Mm-hmm. He was like an atheist, I, I think. Um, but then one time he got this like patient and um, she had a bunch of weird disorders. It's all like mm-hmm. kind of like personality or like behavior wise, yeah. nothing like, like affecting her mental yeah. abilities. But um, he tried everything on her. So he tried like all the normal therapy techniques yeah. that you would do and nothing worked Mm. so in the end he put her under hypnosis basically like guided her through meditations and basically she since he started doing that she went on to see him for like six months every week she would go because what he found out was once he put her under Mm -hmm. she started to recount like her past lives and it wasn't just one like she when she was under she would every time he sees her he would put her under again she would recount like all these like lives that she's been through and to such detail because when she first started talking about it, he didn't believe her. So he thought she was just like blabbering and maybe it's like something to do with her childhood. Yeah. And the reason that he put her under was he was thinking she can go back to her childhood to see if like anything in her childhood yeah. caused all these like traumas. But instead she went like beyond her childhood yeah. back, back to her past lives. And at first he was just like, maybe this is just like her, her dreams and stuff. So besides the past lives, she also recounted the time in between mm-hmm. so she would talk about like when she died where she would go for a little bit before she reincarnated into another life so she said something like oh you would like go into this stage like another dimension where you have some time to rest and then you would like figure out or like you would just be put back onto earth for like mm-hmm. a new lesson or something I don't really remember yeah but then um, she basically told him that one of the spirit guides she relayed a message to the uh, to Brian Weiss saying that oh like I want you to know that your son is like fine and then he was shocked because uh, they had a son and yeah. he died like oh, at wow. one or two or something I think yeah and then um, he didn't they didn't tell anyone because it was yeah. too painful so like no of well maybe it was a miscarriage I don't remember but like something <laughs> traumatic happened and yeah. then he didn't tell anyone so no one could have known but she basically like said that to him wow. and then the more I think she also revealed some other details mm. and he traced it back to like reality and yeah. it was all true so basically that book got me like really interested in yeah. reincarnation and then I also came across <coughs> this thing called the Michael teachings okay so when I was trying to search up like things about reincarnation yeah. and like past lives and some things like that I came across this thing called the Michael teachings and it basically originated back in like the 60s or 70s mm-hmm. and it was like a group of people in the states or something that it sounds scary but they started using like wuji boards yeah. to like communicate with spirits and stuff but they did it for spiritual purposes all that they were communicating were just like how to live your life being like a good person like what you're supposed to do in this life and and basically ever since then people all around the world mm-hmm. that knows about this like and have that ability to like channel they would it's kind of like the Bible. So, yeah. like, certain people would just like write up these things and then they combined it all. And Michael isn't like one spirit. It's like mm. basically that like group of two spirits um, that would just like, you know, talk to them and like tell them about like life after death and like why we're here on earth. Yeah. And it sounds really out there, but if you Google it, mm-hmm. I think no matter what, if you look at like what they teach and stuff, it's all good things. It's yeah. like how to be a better person, like why you're supposed to be a certain way, how you know, <coughs> things like that. So mm-hmm. I feel like even if you don't believe in like the, you know, like spiritual side of it, you can take learnings from it. But yeah. with the Michael teachings, they also talk about souls and like how we reincarnate and after we die, like we're, we're all here to learn lessons yeah. and life is pretty much like a game. Like you're, yeah. suppo- you're here to make it something, you mm-hmm. know? And supposedly everyone has a purpose. Yeah. Like everyone has a purpose. And I think like 
when I say purpose, it's not just like one thing. It you could can be do. multiple. It could things, be multiple yeah. things, but you're you're naturally more drawn or like strong in yeah. something. Basically, from that book, from the Michael teachings and all this other shit I searched mm-hmm. up, I feel like there's something there. I don't yeah. know exactly what it is, but yeah. like it's just really interesting. And for me as well, I feel like it's also like a peace of mind because I. I mentioned this before, but my biggest fear when I was younger is death, like yeah. just like dying. But I feel like that's impossible because energy cannot be destroyed, right? It can only be exactly transformed. Yeah. So yeah, so then that's kind of my thought. Also, thinking back to your point about the Michael teachings, if you look back on every religion and stuff like that, like mm. it's pretty much the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's some messenger getting messages from an angel or someone some that's source or energy. Yeah, yeah, some source of energy, and they preach those teachings yeah, exactly. to humankind. Yeah, yeah. So even when you mention it right now, it might seem like like this is bull crap. Or yeah, like, or yeah. Whatever. But in reality, all the religions and stuff are like, pretty much the same. Yeah. Same thing happens patterns, in different right? ways. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's like, um, but that's the thing. Like even if Jesus were to come right now in the modern age, no yeah. one would believe him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no. They'd be like, who's this guy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is hippie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So exactly. It's interesting. Yeah, looking diving into all of these uh, intri- like yeah. metaphysical and things along the spiritual yeah i think it's just super interesting it is very interesting it's easy to just get like hooked on and want to learn more because there's so so many questions you have as you read and learn more Mm -hmm. you have all these more questions Mm -hmm. and like that's for me like i like i do believe in reincarnation but i also don't because of just like i feel like there's still so many unanswered questions is that a big aspect of it or just just as I, was, I don't know it's like I kind of need more like I believe in it but I also just feel like I still need more information or like yeah but I also something. feel like that's the that's one thing about life like mm. we're never gonna we're never gonna really know, know yeah but that's like part of it yeah. like you it gives us hope and like mm. but even know. now like not until not too long ago they didn't even know it was inside like an atom for example they thought yeah. that was the farthest it goes mm-hmm. and but then now they know there's so much empty space in there and like right. they still don't know like and then yeah. it goes into quartz and it's like yeah, what's yeah, after yeah. that like yeah so. i do think though in our lifetime i feel like strides are going to be made on like spirituality or consciousness yeah and maybe it's like the new age be, religion yeah way, yeah like. but the thing is it's gonna be intertwined with scientific I, I, well, it as should well. be because no but that's that's science is evolving to the point where it's overlapping with yes, the spiritual it yeah. should be because i think it's the same thing yeah whether it's vibrations or yeah. energy yeah, cells exactly. vibrating all that kind of stuff electromagnetic fields exactly. and things along those lines mm-hmm. because before and like as technology exponentially gets better we're understanding that these things do affect us yeah mm-hmm. just because you can't touch taste or feel or hear or yeah. whatever doesn't mean it doesn't exist for exactly. sure for sure so. i i think science and spirituality is the same shit so yeah <laughs> all right that was, yeah. do you have anything else to add? no i think we covered okay quite the yeah that's a good, good yeah. discussion that's so good. basically we kind of we do be- kind of believe it but we are also don't know but to be it's continued. interesting to know yeah that too, to be to continued about, yeah to be continued to be continued we'll yeah. touch base in another 50 years yeah or so. <laughs>